A new iOS 26.1 software update is available and here are all the new features and changes that you need to know. This update makes changes to the animations in the control center. They are now more fluid and have more of a bounce when you scroll between different pages. The Apple TV app icon has been rebranded with this new update. Now it has new vibrant colors. It now features a splash of color instead of the gray and you can see the different looks that it has and you can see the before and after right here. Speaking of Apple TV Plus, this update actually removes all mention of Apple TV Plus and replaces that phrase with my subscription in settings under general there is a new local capture option that gives you the ability to adjust gain levels and storage location when you are recording local audio when connected to a microphone this update also adds support for automatic threat notification so if your device detects that you've been a target for spyware or cyber attack your iphone will automatically notify you there's new code in this update suggesting that apple is preparing to support more third-party ai providers beyond on chat GPT to work with Apple intelligence and fingers seem to point to Google's Gemini as a potential candidate. This update seems to slightly tweak the slide to stop feature for alarms and timers. The colors are slightly more saturated and the bars have been slightly shortened. When it comes to notifications, there's mention of a feature that's soon going to be coming to allow you to forward your notifications to other third party accessories that's coming soon. There's also reference to a new wallpaper that's soon going to be coming with iOS 26.1 with more striking and vivid colors. Other existing iOS 26.1 changes, you can see how Apple has changed the title as well as the icons to be more aligned on the left hand side. And at the same time, if you're curious about the build number, you can see it right here. It ends with an E, meaning we still expect a couple more betas to come. The liquid glass light effect around apps is now more subtle with darker icons and background colors. In Apple Music, you can now just swipe by the song title to quickly jump between different tracks. AirPods live translation now support more languages so now you have Japanese, Korean, Italian and Chinese as well. Apple intelligence is now available in more languages such as Turkish, Portuguese, Vietnamese among others. On the home screen when you go to rename a folder you can see that the text is now more to the left instead of being center like how it used to be. Finally when it comes to the phone keypad now it uses liquid glass numbers as you can see.